And welcome to your Go Markets update on charts of the day for today, the 1st of November 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here taking you around what's happening in the markets today. Let's have a look across the news. US equities are mildly lower last night as we had a little bit of caution, uh, possibly due to the impending Federal Reserve meeting and, of course, big earnings which are due out today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Just a little bit of a pause from what's been a really quite a positive couple of weeks or so. We are seeing some positivity in Asia with the US futures slightly to the upside. NASDAQ outperforming and the Asian indices are mixed in early trading, but generally again, mildly up. ASX is trading just above neutral prior to the RBA decision, which is out in a short while. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly higher open at this stage. In the FX world, the US dollar index edged higher again yesterday, but is relatively neutral today since some strength in commodity-based currencies. We've got further weakness in gold on the back of that USD strength and it may test 1620 support after breaching 1650. Oil edged very slightly lower again from the top of the range it hit towards the back end of last week and is still under the 200 MA. And copper futures are testing 340 to the downside in that short-term range it's trading in currently. Somewhat surprisingly, the VIX continued to edge lower despite that equity weakness. But of course, that may change significantly as things come across the wires. And Bitcoin has just about held on to 20,000 overnight. It's a busy day. Again, we've got lots going on. We've got the RBA decision, as we've already referenced. We've got US and Chinese PMI data out. And of course, the FOMC begins a two-day meeting. On top of that, we've got US jobs data out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with the non-farm payrolls, the headline act on Friday. Mixed in amongst all of this is big earnings, of course. We've got some fairly big players tonight. AMD will be particularly interesting in that semiconductor space, but Eli Lilly, Airbnb, Newmont Mining and Uber, amongst many others, will be picked apart in terms of where they're at and where they think they're going to go next. A couple of charts of interest that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we'll start with the Kiwi Yen. You can see there we are potentially breaching on the daily chart a key level at 86.50 you can see that move up in today's trading if we just pop it on an hourly chart there it is over the last hour or so it'll be interesting to see how far this goes but if we if we go back to the daily chart for reference you can see there there's a fairly significant potential move up of around about 80 pips to the next key level so that may be worth bearing in mind when making your decision making about how far this could go if there is some buying pressure retained. In stocks, as I said, it's a fairly mixed day. We are seeing Seek looking pretty impressive. You can see their key level at 21.50. We are trading towards the high of the session right now. And after yesterday's attempt to break it, it looks as though there's some buying pressure in there to finally push us through. Difficult to see where this might go next, but it wouldn't be unreasonable to suspect that it might move up around about this five or 6% up to around about 23.20 in the medium term. There's a couple to keep an eye on, but bear in mind, markets could move significantly over the next 48 hours with lots going on to digest. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.